Hello everybody and welcome to our show. I am Alina Popa and my co-host Linda Murray are really excited to have a special invite with us today. Two times Miss Fitness Olympia, Whitney Jones. Whitney, welcome to our show. Thank you. Happy, happy to be here with you guys oh. and amongst two crazy, beautiful, <laughs> amazing ladies. So yes. oh, I'm the lucky you. one. Yes. So mm -hmm. I want to just jump straight into it, Whitney. Yeah. Um, I know that you have done your first show ever in 2010. You turned yes. pro in 2011, right? Mm -hmm. So with no formal gymnastics training, right? No. Am I right? So mm -hmm. that was to me was mind blowing when I read that. I was like, how did you start? What? How did you know you want to do fitness and how did you acquire all those skills to be able to compete in this class? Well, so I actually, I did my first show in figure because I didn't ah, know the fitness okay. division um, really existed. I knew the industry, wow. but didn't know about the fitness division, which is kind of crazy because it was mm -hmm. one of the earlier ones with bodybuilding. Yeah, body that's right. right. Yeah, but I, I wanted a new challenge, so jumped into a figure show, and then I saw these girls that were in these costumes and music, I'm like, they look like they're having a lot of fun. I mean, oh, that? so much wow. more, right, than yeah. the funny turns. Mm. Yeah, so as I'm in my suit, I'm like, I want to learn what those girls are doing. That's fantastic. So I had, um, I was a cheerleader growing up, so okay. I had that right. aspect. So you had. Yes. 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 So I had, you know, that kind of background. But yeah, no formal gymnastics training. Everything um, that I learned, I had two older brothers that dared me to do a lot of crazy uh -huh. stuff growing up. <laughs> so I had learned how to do flips and Completely unconventional, just like you just yeah. go for it. Yeah. So that's, that's my wow. training, um, but never anything formal. And then as I got into the fitness division, loved it, instantly hooked, but then I had to learn from like YouTube and stuff yeah. how to oh, do yeah. stuff. So self taught, um, honestly. Most of my career has just been wow. going, ooh, that looked cool, finding wow. something on Instagram or YouTube yeah. and, and being like, I wonder if I can do it. There's only one way, to, one way to find out. <laughs> That's it. Wow. So you just wanted to do it, and you went for it, and you yeah. got it. And I know that you got to the Olympia stage in uh, 2013. 13. Yes. You wow. got ninth place, if I'm not mistaken, yes. right? Uh -huh. And then you kept on going into a few years. You got another eighth place, and ninth place, and fourth place. And then you got first place. Yeah. So to me, it's always fascinating because you know there are always the stars. The people like, I'm, I'm saying the stars that get up and then first time they compete sure. first. Yes. But then to me it's like it takes so much strength mm -hmm. to start and actually work your way up. So right. how did you do it? What was the most important thing that you felt that you had to improve to get from a ninth place to uh, Miss Olympia? You know, I can honestly say like I loved the sport. Most people mm -hmm. in our sport, especially at the elite level, they they do it because they love it. So for mm -hmm. me it was to be on the Olympia stage was a huge honor. Never, never did I think I'd ever be there. I thought I was always going to be in the audience, just in awe as a fan. <laughs> wow. So, wow. and I even it's get chills. funny to hear it from yes. you, yes. Miss Olympia. Yes. It really <laughs> but is. But you know, it's like I had that opportunity, and then once you get a taste of that Olympia stage, you're like, oh, I got to get back here. Uh huh. So, isn't that an amazing feeling? There's nothing like it. There's, and you try to explain it to people. But it's just, it's an honor to ever even qualify and to grace that stage. Mm -hmm. So it was just kind of in me to be like, all right, well, what do I need to do to continue to improve? Mm -hmm. And with our division, it's about creativity and okay. learning new skills and in obviously improving the physique. So whether it was Olympia, Arnold, or even just a pro show, I always have a tradition the morning after, you know, whether it was a good or bad show, you write down the things that you wish you could have improved on, things you didn't like, mm -hmm. and then I set goal sheets, whether it's mm -hmm. a quarterly goal, you know, six months, yearly, of what I want to do to improve mm -hmm. so that I can continually to move up. Absolutely. And it's like, just keep pushing, and then mm -hmm. it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's, you yeah. know, it's like, okay, I want to improve my, my shoulders, um, tighter glutes, learn new tricks, new skills, yes, so yes. it's fun. Like to me, having mm -hmm. those new goals that you set mm -hmm. makes it exciting and just, I think the passion, if an athlete has true passion, it works out. Doesn't mm -hmm. always work out in the time frame that you want yep, and you may yes. not, you know, be You're fortunate right, enough to yeah. win, win, but as long as you're constantly improving, then you can't 
be down on yourself. Yeah. For so that. pretty yep. much Can't your answer wrong. would be with a plan. Absolutely. You had it planned. You went there and you knew what you had to fix for your next show. So yes. it is really like premeditated. Yeah. Right? And no rose That's colored glasses. You, you got to look at it and go, ooh. Yeah, I really need to improve yes. on that. So yes. you have to be honest with yourself. You know, if you're not winning, and even when you are winning, I mean, after my first Olympia win, the next morning my list was long because oh, I was like, I love it. Ooh, this was I know. longer than ever. It was longer because <laughs> I'm like, I want to get back and do this again, defend my title. So honestly, mm -hmm. it's it's constantly improving, and that's, that's awesome. how you grow. Yes. With yes. me, what's your signature move in your routines in your? Well, so break dancing routine. is kind of my uh -oh. thing, oh, which wow. again, it's not like I have a background in it, but it looked wow. fun learning mm -hmm. it. And it's so hard to do some of these things. So signature moves I'd say is my swipe from um, B-Boy style stuff that I do. I yeah, and I yeah. heard your boys, uh, <laughs> they help you choreograph. So they do. if you're throwing in Michael Jackson, I'm sure like uh -huh. when you, like if you're not like right on point, they're probably like, mom, ah, oh, you yeah. gotta, Right? <laughs> yes. And they're, I mean, they're the biggest critics of me, but that's what I love. I yeah. mean, our division, it's about entertainment. Mm -hmm. So you get a child's perspective. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've shown them oh, yeah. hard skills that most people, like in our division, would be impressed with. And they're like, meh. I'm like, that's <laughs> taken me two months. And then I'll do something that's yeah. more like explosive. And they're like, oh. Do that. Yeah. I'm like, okay, that's easy. Okay, Done. that's your problem. Yeah. Wow. That's so we your do it as a yeah, we do it as a group effort, and then they get excited to see the finished result. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's just really exciting. When we sit there, and I'm like a huge, huge fan of fitness, mm -hmm. and when I'm sitting there in the audience and I watch you on stage. A lot of women, um, what are you guys doing, and what's going on uh, to like bring more to let the athletes know, the competitors, people, potential competitors, that they don't have to do what you do. Like you yes. started out, like you said, oh, yeah. no formal training, no formal mm -hmm. gymnastics training. And you know, of course, when we see you, we're like, oh my goodness, she made it to the Olympia State. And so yeah. for you to say that, so what's going on in the fitness uh, division as far as in the NPC, as far as like helping to um, bring in more competitors? Sure. Well, so recently, um, two years ago, they made some changes for MPC amateur athletes. They took out the physique ground. Okay. So still, it's still there for the pro level. You know, you still have your physique and your routine. But for the amateurs, it gives them a mo an opportunity to get in and just mm. based on their talent and their performance. Because for a lot of the young athletes, or they look at the fitness division, it's intimidating. Uh, mm -hmm. We're trying to get the people, you know, maybe it's ex-cheerleaders, dancers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who have that passion, they're used to performing, because that's hard to get on stage and then mm -hmm. to do a solo routine yeah. and, you know, be dynamic and dancing. But there's so much talent out there. Yes, but so there much talent. But there was a fear of, Absolutely. I don't look like that. Right. So it's really helped introduce people to mm. the sport. And then the fitness division, we're a close-knit group of ladies. Yes, like you guys are really, really family. Are. You really yes. are. I mean, I see you from show to show and how you guys get together yeah. and you like thank the promoters and you guys really, truly support each other. Yeah. I like, mean, we are friends. Like, I see that. Constantly talk. It's like when we have a show mm -hmm. together, it's, it's like a girl's trip. <laughs> yeah. You know? But yeah. we band together, too, around that same time. We have an Instagram account, um, mm -hmm. Competition Wow, Fitness. you have an Instagram, oh, that's We great. do, and it's to help promote and show a lot of these MPC girls, like, here's some yeah. basics. Here's, you know, someone says a one-arm push-up, mm -hmm. there's no yeah. way I could yeah. ever yeah. do it. The idea that you need to have special prerequisites mm -hmm. to do this division right. is a myth. Right. Yes. Anybody can do it. So I actually exactly. wanted to ask you, but you already anticipated, you started talking yeah. about it. Mm -hmm. There's one element, you don't know how to do it, and then... And that's okay. I mean, the thing is, if I tell athletes who reach out, if they have a desire and a passion wow. to perform, mm -hmm. that's the biggest, biggest hurdle. Mm -hmm. Now, if you can dance, great. That's going to be your strong attribute, and then you need to really work on your strength skills. Mm -hmm. Some people are ex-gymnasts. They've got amazing strength skills, right. but they're intimidated. They're like, hey, I don't yeah. have any rhythm. Well, then we're going to teach you how to dance, mm -hmm. take dance classes. So you find your strong point. You build your routine based on that, and then through the years, you work on these things that you're mm -hmm. really kind of lacking at. Mm -hmm. But you only can get better if you keep working. Yeah, yeah. I was so surprised to learn that, like, um, so there are four basic. Uh, there's push up, mm -hmm. one a push up any of any style. Ki any style. Any style. Yep. Then high kick. High kick. Yep. 
a straddle hold, mm -hmm. and yep. then a side split. Yep. And see, for me, I was like, I was so shocked because I watched your your interview uh, talking about um, posing and uh, about um, putting together your routine and mm -hmm. and how the women out there the myth that you have to know how to do a back handspring. Oh yeah, not no at back, all. no really. No. Even Oksana, it's so funny because. You know, for years she was like, oh, I can't do that. And then she taught herself how to do it and got some lessons. Oh my and we'd be on the Olympia stage and she'd be like, wait, can you come spot me? I'm like, you don't need a spot. I know wow. you got this girl, but yeah, you know, it's never too late to learn stuff, mm. but you don't have to be phenomenal at everything. What would you say that are the biggest challenges of the division? Um, I would, my personal opinion is injuries. Um, okay. That's wow. one of the things that's oh, you very have common. A, you have I've a got a lot, yes. 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 Going experience. on 16 surgeries Which is amazing. Now. What? So, yes. I mean, 16? 16 no surgeries. Not all, not all fitness mm -hmm. related. Oh, but yeah, yes, okay. but sure. <laughs> yes, I, I've been under the knife a lot trying to put this back mm -hmm. together. <laughs> yeah, well that's understandable, you know. But, I mean, you guys are amazing athletes and, um, and I know that without question that you have to work through your injuries yes. and, and you're the current world champion and so mm -hmm. to me it obviously it shows that it's a mind body absolutely so what's going in that mindset yes there's always something you can yeah. do I mean yeah. within reason obviously but for me it's helped me as an athlete as well as a mm. coach wow to force you to think out of the box it's Absolutely. like, well, I can't do all my normal skills. Yeah. What am I going to do? Yeah. And you find, it's like, oh, I didn't think I could do that. Yeah. yeah. But it makes you level up. And, you know, the honest, the, mm -hmm. the truth of the matter is any fitness girl going on stage is dealing with some sort of injury. Yeah. What yeah. was the worst one you had? Uh, by far, my neck injury. So I had to I have wow. a two-level neck fusion. They had to go in and mm -hmm. do a 12-piece metal cage mm -hmm. to put me back together. Wow. Um, lost full function of my arm oh for my about goodness. it was about two months where it just was it must have been yeah. so scary it was it was and you know to be honest like the sport i loved it but you start thinking about i have two boys and i thought i can't even hug them right mm -hmm. now yeah i can't throw a football or play catch with them and hold a, a yeah mitt. wow i thought this is crazy i've got to get this fixed and they you know going into surgery that morning they said there's a 50 50 shot you'll never regain wow. any feeling yeah. or Ooh, movement. that's scary but it's like you got to try it and mm -hmm. positive mindset positive I'm mindset like, this i just need to get through the surgery i'm going to wake up we'll have feeling and no joke, my goal was, I knew I had to sit out Olympia that year, which was mm -hmm. not fun. Uh -huh. But I was like, I'm getting back. Smart, that was 17, I'm getting right? Back. Uh -huh. So 17 was yeah. the surgery, mm -hmm. and then came back, and the Arnold Classic in 2018 was my first show back. Was feeling great, yeah. you know, recovering from the yeah. neck injury, and then that's the show I yeah. blew out my ACL and my MCL four weeks out. But again, I was like, I'm not stopping. I had mm -hmm. to show everyone I was coming back from this neck injury. Wow. And even though I had the knee problem, I'm like, I got it. I still got to finish what mm -hmm. I started. Yeah, My goal was to get inspiring. back on stage. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, I mean, it worked out. That was the first title I won, was mm -hmm. the Arnold 2018. With an injury like that. Yeah, with a yeah. blown ACL mm -hmm. and coming back from neck surgery. Wow. But hey, it can happen. It, positive mindset and just it's finding everything. a way. I yeah. know, it really is everything. I think people look at us and they look at the, the end, the final result, like uh, all of the dieting and the yeah. weight training and the putting together the routines. But really, I mean, you could not get to the end if you're always like looking at like that final result. You have to take it one day at a time. One day, yeah. One day at a time. And it's really, the reality is, is that a lot of people can, uh, you know, they want to be on stage, they mm -hmm. know how to do the training, they learn, they finally get the diet, but the bottom line is to actually step on stage and to follow through yeah. the way you have, um, it's really, it's up there. At the yes. end of the day, it's all what's going on up in our, you know. Yes. And it's not only that, Linda, but what I find extremely inspirational about Whitney, it's not only that she's a champion, but she's also a businesswoman, mm -hmm. like a very successful entrepreneur mm -hmm. on top of being a mother, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I find it amazing. Tell us a little bit about your business. I know you started yeah. your gym uh, 10 years ago. Uh -huh. Yep, so in 2010, we opened Pro Physiques um, here in Arizona. Amazing team, we have about 20 trainers that work for our, our team. Wow, We train, awesome. 
young athletes. We train, we have clients who are in their 80s. We do couple training. We oh. do a ton of prep. Mm -hmm. So it's a facility for everybody. And mm -hmm. it's been a ton of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, you know, it's helped kind of parlay into other businesses. Absolutely. Yeah. So well, it's, it's awesome because I, I know you mentioned that you have 15 competitors this weekend. Yes. Or, uh -huh. And this is during COVID. Yes. So you're amazing, obviously, to, you know, get um, amateur and pro, pro yeah. athletes mm -hmm. yeah. to all come together, to, yes. to get it, to pull it together. So, yes. you know, that's that's really amazing. Obviously, you're, you're great. You are also in charge of the Muscle and Fitness Project, aren't you? Yes. Uh-huh. So that's um, a contest, the mm -hmm. Miss Health and Fitness for 2020. Yes. So, yes, they get the cover of the magazine, wow. the Olympia edition of ah. Muscle and Fitness Hers, and wow. $25,000. $25,000? Yeah. Wow. You know, who who doesn't want that? Yeah. I know. Wow. So lots of different projects, but I love it. you got to just take every day with, with what you can. Absolutely. And, yeah. and so you know how I know that you love what you do? Because you give back. Right, oh, your thanks. sponsorship, yes. your sponsorship yeah. program. Yeah, that's fantastic. How many sponsorships do you do a year? So each year for fitness, we do. Um, last year we had seventy-five applicants who wow. participate in it, mm -hmm. and I always say there's one winner. Um, but every year I end up choosing three. It's, it's so hard as you dial it down, and you know I have a panel that chooses the winner, and they'll present to me the top three, and then every year I'm like, let's just take them all. But it's a great way to help the fitness division. Um, it That's introduces fantastic. it to athletes who would love to do it, but financially just don't have the resources. So mm -hmm. the winners, I have them fly them out here, put them up in the hotel. We spend wow. two full days doing choreography. Amazing. I do their prep. So, you know, it's it gives them an opportunity because mm. let's be honest, once you do a show, yeah. you love it, you yeah. are hooked. Yes. So it's just introducing yes. athletes to the sport. But yeah, it's... I love giving back. I love coaching. I am way I can more nervous. See it. We can see it. We really oh. can, Whitney. Yeah, I could get on stage and perform, yeah. but when my athletes <laughs> are on stage, I am a nervous wreck. I'm uh -huh. just, you know, I do. I love what I wow. do. Wow. Two times world champion, mm -hmm. Miss Olympia. Do you feel a responsibility? Are you a role model? Because I've watched some, you know, Olympia champions mm -hmm. um, or other athletes, and some of them try to say, well, it's not my, I don't have any responsibility because as the winner, mm -hmm. you know, and only here we've, we've been the best in the world. Sure, yeah. So we know something that a person that's second, third, fourth, or fifth right. don't really understand or some say, well, you know, it's not, it's not my responsibility to be a role model. And what I mean is, is in the posts that you do on Instagram and social media. Absolutely. I mean, I think when you are awarded that title, you should take it seriously. Yes. Um, and I agree. I think some people handle things differently. But for me, I've always said it's not that moment on stage that you win. Mm -hmm. It's every single day after that. What Oops. do you do wow. as a leader? Like, mm -hmm. are you giving back? Yes. Are you helping to grow the industry? Are you motivating athletes? Are you helping them understand yeah. it doesn't come easy? It's gonna be a struggle, but it's so worth it. Like, you have an opportunity now, you have this platform. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What are you going to do with it? I mean, once That's you right. are a world champion, you're a world champion for forever. Sure. You better That's represent. Right. And, and I'm sure you know, that you you go and you make a plan about yes, how to know. be yeah. a Miss Olympia for the next year, <laughs> totally. right? Yes, yes. yes. It's a great opportunity. And again, it's there's so much work you put into mm -hmm. being the winner. But if it's just for you and it's that selfish thing, then you're not a champion. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what, to me, you're a champion by what you do with your mm -hmm. title. You're yes. a winner yes. otherwise. You yes. won. Yes. Are you a true champion? Yep. Yeah, I love you, all these aspects of you. They're right. amazing. Are you a true you. champion? Oh, yeah. and true champion. True yeah. champion. And I think that brings up the question. Um, this year at the Olympia, we're yes, going to have the big question. Th three Olympia champion, you know, on stage competing. Yes. How cool and you're is the that? current champion. And you just gave the best answer in regards to being a role model. And I see the love that you oh, ladies yeah. as fitness competitors. So first, second, fourth, fifth, I noticed that it doesn't matter. It so doesn't. yeah, how your approach and your feeling and going into this Olympia, you're the current champion, mm -hmm. everybody's after you. And, and that's fine. Is it fine. different? 
You know, it's way more exciting. I'll be honest. When they okay. both announced that they were coming out of retirement, yes, I, like I just got chill. I love because I love both of them. Yes, so I know Adela. I, I only got to perform with her at one Olympia, and so to get to do that again, yes. amazing. I was fortunate with Oksana to travel the world and do so many shows. And the year she retired was the year I had to sit out. And I'm oh. not even joking. Uh -huh. When I was at my neurosurgeon, and they said you got to have surgery, you can't do it. I turned to my friend and I said, this is Oksana's last year, I've got to be on stage with her. <laughs> and they're like, what is wrong with you? We all want to come in and just perform and defend our titles, because we're all going for that, along with so many, so many others that are really pushing to knock all yeah. three of us yeah. off. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's, right. Yeah, right. yeah it's, it's a great opportunity to go, okay, now I really need to bring something new and fresh and exciting. So it, it lit up a fire, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's it's been a lot of fun. I mean, I'm just, I love the that it's going to bring more attention to our division, too. Yes. Build the hype, guys. Build it. That's it. I don't think we're going to go head to head and try to choke yeah. each other. Yeah. Yeah. Right. See our personalities. Right. right. Like, oh, but yeah. We're, but we're all competitors. And I know when you guys For get sure. on stage, it's, that's the way it is. You get up there and you stay focused, stay in your lane and get it done. Yeah. And, and then it's up to the judges to decide. But as long right. as we step on stage and Absolutely. we feel like we've brought our best, we've already won. Yeah. We made it there. We're healthy. So that's the goal. That's and then, you know, it's it's just enjoy it, entertain, perform, build the Call excitement. It. Yes. The I can't oh, yeah. wait. I know, me too. That's <laughs> amazing. So, yeah, it was really, really great to get a glimpse into Whitney's personality and her life and everything. And we're truly honored to have you here. Oh, thank you. I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> I, I, researched yes. her. I researched you. I love you. I really love the way the power, the strengths, the the the, the, the power that you have to mm -hmm. keep on fighting on everything. It's all in so the mind, Absolutely, right? it's That's in it. the mind. So thank you everybody for being here with us. We saw Whitney Jones, two times Miss Fitness Olympia, and join us for our next episode. Mm -hmm.